Sound speeds, and I think your questions deserve a follow-up, so here we go. In my extensive testing of the DADS Mic 2 video, you saw me, amongst other things, take this microphone into the shower with me, getting it completely drenched, restoring the microphone, throwing it in the clothes dryer in order to dry it, and then speaking into the microphone to verify that it still works. Let me address a few of the questions I received via email. Yes, I did do the stereo test before any other testing of the s Mic 2s, including the water test. And the reason I did that is I wanted to already have it in the bank should I need it. I could have then used the working Deity s Mic 2 and switched it out using the same kind of video trickery or different slightly than I used on the Neptech BC1 April Fool's prank I did. But I didn't. The microphone you saw me drench was the exact same microphone that you saw me restore, throw it in the dryer, and everything else. And if you look at the two microphones, you'll see some paint damage on the microphone that was put through everything over and over again for that review. But still the question may be on your mind as to how does the microphone I restored after damaging, or rather trying to damage, compare with the microphone that is completely untouched? Why don't we put them to a test and see if you can tell which one is which? Only I know which of these two DDS Mic 2s went through the shower with me, number one or number two. And the reason I'm using a Tascam DR40 for this test is it's very easy for me to set it to stereo, record both inputs, plug both microphones into them, identically match the settings, and gain, and hit record, making this test very easy. And you can even see everything right in front of you. Right here, I'm talking into these microphones. <laughs> you can't really fake this. Well, I guess technically you could. Anything is possible. But I'm not. And I'm also not faking it. One of these did definitely go through the shower with me. Now, it's going to be your job to figure out which one. Now, I'm going to mention one thing. Manufacturing microphones is not a perfect process. Every single microphone manufacturer tries to achieve the perfection, or so to speak, of matching a microphone that may make in the manufacturing process to the microphone that they model all of their microphones in manufacturing after, the prototype, if you will. Now, being that the two microphones are going through the manufacturing process and their serial numbers are only 11 digits off, they do have a pretty good chance of matching. The farther off the serial numbers are, usually the lesser chance it has of matching, just because the manufacturing process is not perfect. Sometimes there are slight deviations, and as the equipment might shift or just naturally change over time. It could be the metals used, the plastic, the temperature used during manufacturing in the, in the facility that it was in. The actual copper itself used in the wiring could have been different. The, par the, the PC boards, whatever, every single component on the inside is going to be different based on what it has and how it's put together. So there could be little imperfections between wires, cables, whatever, but the closer the serial number is, usually the closer they're going to match, even though that is still not a perfect representation right there. But these are only 10 or so digits off in the serial number, and I'm not going to show them to you, but you're going to have to trust me on that one. And they sound very, very similar, meaning that they restored very nicely. If I hadn't run it through distilled water and then put it through a heating process, it probably would not have restored nearly as well as it did if I used tap water and then expected it to completely dry, because it would probably be, be minerals on the inside of the microphone's interference tube, and it would have been damaged. So, which microphone do you think went through the shower with me? Microphone number one or microphone two? Tell me in the comment section down below, and I will add this. After a few days of release of this video, I will put down in the description which one it was, but I ask that you don't cheat and actually use your ears and listen to try to determine which one you think it actually was. See if you were right. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Sound Speeds, and be sure to tune in the future for more sound, fun, and sound advice. Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below, or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.